Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the new lead single by Welsh artist Marina. Her new song is titled Man's World and it is presumably the lead single off of her upcoming fifth studio album, which will probably be coming out in 2021. Uh, which is a quicker turnaround than her more recent records. She's usually taken a little bit more time. So this is, you know, two years, but I think it's definitely a welcome surprise because uh, I didn't see this happening. And we have Man's World, which, you know, Marina is very much riding the feminist wave with a song that I think so many of us can relate to at this time uh, because I think we're all tired and fed up with living in a man's world. She sings, I don't want to live there anymore. Mother Nature is dying. If you have a mother, daughter, or a friend, maybe it is time, time you comprehend. The world that you live in ain't the same one as them, so don't punish me for not being a man. The music video for this song is so, I think, perfect in the way it encapsulates diversity. Uh, it, it's so effortlessly presented. I even, I really appreciate that we have a male figure represented as, you know, amongst the other women she has dancing with her for the song, because it shows that, you know, biologically male does not have to necessarily mean masculine. And what we're really talking about here is a masculine world that we want to escape from at the core of it. Um, femininity is something that is not completely boxed into solely having to do with the organs you have in your body. And so undoing those gender roles, I think it's just, it's a very important message and image to have for a song like this. I mean, you know, we've got all types of sizes and color and age represented with the women and men around her. And I think that that's just the people around her. And I think that that beautifully encapsulates the message of this song. Um, and they're all, of course, sipping some wine or some alcohol, kind of alluding to the fact that they're just, we're just ready to just shake off the shackles. Um, we are, you know, in need of consuming something sweeter for us. So, uh, I love the opening lyric. Cheeks are rosy like a Boucher cherub. Francois Boucher is a famous French painter who painted all these cherubic babies with the really rosy cheeks. So that's where that reference is from. And um, I love when she has these sort of clever allusions in her lyrics. In one of the verses, she sings, Marilyn's bungalow, it's number seven in the pink palace where men made her legend, owned by a sheik who killed thousands of gay men. I guess that's why he bought the campus hotel in LA then. Boy, <laughs> she's definitely spilling there. Um, I think this is alluding to, there's a Middle Eastern she, um, person of power. I'm not entirely sure, you know, um, I can't remember their specifics, uh, the specifics, but they own a chain of hotels in the United States and that person has come under fire. I think it's the Sultan of Brunei. Is it the Sultan of Brunei? I can't remember. But anyway, um, someone from, you know, the Muslim world who has a very, very bad record with LGBT rights um, and persecuting people, uh, homosexuals. And so um, they own a lot of property and hotel chains in or at least one very popular hotel chain in the United States. And I'm wondering if he might be the one who was alluded to with Marilyn's bungalow, but not entirely sure there. Um, it wouldn't surprise me. There's there's a lot of these sort of um, somewhat ironic, uh, tragically ironic in a lot of ways, uh, crossovers with capitalism, basically, in exploiting, um, you know, resources and then, you know, human rights and how there's this unfortunate intersectionality there. And in the West, it's often kind of covered up so that we don't know about it. Um, but if you look at the paper trail, if you look at who's funding a lot of these things or who's profiting, more importantly, when you go and support some of these businesses, you might be supporting nefarious causes elsewhere. And so this is a very kind of eye-opening little jab there. And I think that it's a brilliant sort of way to, uh, keep the theme of this song, I think, very pointed, very direct. Um, and I, I, I mean, I just, I'm all 100% here for the sentiment. The sonics of this song, you know, it's interesting. Marina has had very distinct sonic elements in all of her albums thus far. Her first album, The Family Jewels, was probably her most punk rock, if you want to call it that. Still very pop, but there was definitely a rockier edge to it, an alternative edge. Her second album, The uh, Electra Heart, was, you know, slick, highly produced, Katy Perry kind of bubblegum pop, um, almost nauseatingly so in parts, but, you know, it was an aesthetic that she leaned into. And um, 
Her third album, Fruit, was also very slick, but it was a bit more, you know, uh, subdued. It was a little bit more acoustic. There was bringing back a little bit more of the live instrumentation. It was more ambient and more produced in that way. Um, and then with elements of disco. And then her recent album was like very electro pop. It was very synth pop. Um, and so it was really heavily leaning into the electronics. And so this album, this song, a first on first listen, I got to be honest with you, it did sound a lot like an a song that would have been off of Love and Fear in terms of the, the production and the elements involved. There is the piano, of course, and I think there are some guitars that come in there. So we've got some more live instruments coming through. But um, I was interested to hear, you know, if she was going to, I don't want this upcoming album to, I don't want it to sound like exactly the same as Love and Fear did just because I mean, I already feel like Love and Fear might be her least cohesive record. And so if she's going to make another album that's not quite so cohesive, I just feel like artistically it takes a couple, it just takes a couple hits artistically for me. Um, and, you know, with an artist like Marina, I really want to see that more fully fleshed out sound. And I do want a bit of that band sound coming back. So I'm hoping that this album will take us more in that territory. But this song, I think, checks all of the boxes for the teaser that we all are wanting from a song that's a feminist pop anthem you can dance to, sing along to, and I think still be a very great performance live. So I'm I'm definitely excited to see where we're going with this new track, and I am ready to leave this man's world um, and enter Marina's. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and are you excited for a new Marina record? I predict, yeah, like maybe in the spring? I don't know. It's a little bit like she hasn't really said anything about when specifically an album is coming. I, as far as I'm aware, I've not been following her that closely. Um, so I don't know if we're going to get an album around when Love and Fear came out in the spring or if it's going to be later than that, but definitely 2021. I think that's safe to say. Um, so we will look forward to that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will see you all in my next video. Peace, love, and light. Bye.